yeah. want to bring it back to your novels, since it's our last question. Uh, has your experience as a novelist intersected with your role as a journalist, and have your novels enhanced your understanding of current events and news topics? Um, I wish I could say yes, but they're really just two completely parts of my brain, two completely different parts of my brain, fiction and nonfiction. I, I, they're, they're just completely different. Um, fiction, honestly, uh, I'm talking about writing now, not um, covering like a grueling story, but just in terms of write, a writing project, fiction is much tougher than writing nonfiction. Writing fiction is really difficult. Like I have a really, I've, I've, now that I've written fiction, I am much more charitable uh, when I watch a TV show or watch a movie or read a book that I don't think maybe works as well and other people are much meaner about it online. I'm much more charitable. I'm just like, it's really tough. It's really tough to come up with a storyline and characters and whatever and I'm, I'm much more, uh, I, I always was kind of like a, like after the last episode of Lost aired and people were complaining about it, I was, I was the first one to go online and say, oh, just enjoy it, you big babies, who cares? Just to, <laughs> but, but now even more so, I'm just like, just, just enjoy it and just shut up. They're just, people are trying their best. Now even more so. Like, fiction is just, All these people with the Snyder Cut, just shut up. <laughs> people are trying their best to give you the best entertainment they can. I mean, if you want something to complain about, watch, watch all that stupid reality TV. That's garbage. <laughs> that is true garbage. <laughs> the people writing fiction, they're, they're really trying. They really are. I mean, like, they're really making an effort. So, um, Nonfiction, like my next book is going to be nonfiction, and it's tough. I mean, don't get me wrong, but like, I don't have to make anything up. It's all there. I just have to like carve, you know, decide what not to include. That's all it is. What's the next book? Oh, it's this really interesting story I stumbled upon where um, it's about this um, this guy. So they're during the Arab Spring. Uh, there are all these migrants uh, from Tunisia and Libya flocking to this this southern Italian island and it just becomes overwhelmed with uh, migrants, refugees. So Berlusconi starts um, commandeering cruise ships just to get them to the mainland. And there's this Italian Green Beret on one of them, and this guy comes over and asks him for water, one of the migrants. And he gives him water, and he notices that he has bullet holes in his arm. He's like, where'd you get the bullet holes? And, you know, long story short, he says, you know, I, I got them in Afghanistan. I, you know, I'm... I don't mean to brag, but I'm with Al Qaeda. Um, and, um, you know, long story short, they take him to a room and he starts talking. Anyway, then he starts over, you know, then he starts getting angry. And um, the Italians take him to a, a jail in the mainland and then they call the Americans and they say, you know, we got a guy here. He says he's killed Americans. If you want him, you know, you can come interview him, but we can only hold him for 30 days. All we, you know, all we have him on is like, hitting one of, our, one of our guards. So then these guys from uh, New York come, these prosecutors come, and they basically have 30 days. They know who he is, they've heard of him. And he's, he's real Al-Qaeda. And they basically have 30 days to prove he's Al-Qaeda, prove he killed Americans, get evidence that shows he actually is this guy, actually killed Americans, figure out who he is, prove it in a court of law so that he actually will go to jail. And this is- In, in Italy. No, prove it, in the United States, okay. and this is during the Obama years, so they can't send him to Gitmo, because Obama's trying to close Gitmo, and like the clock is ticking, and this guy is like, he's going to kill Americans, like he's done it before, and so these guys now have the clock ticking down, and they do it, and they they find evidence, they figure out which battle it was, they've tracked down the soldiers. One soldier has like stuff that he stole from the battlefield in his attic, and they get this Koran and then they take it down to Gitmo and there's the woman from like NCIS with the purple hair and she has a, <laughs> they get the fingerprints and they take it down and it's his finger, I mean it's just like this, then there's this other guy at the Pentagon and they take him into this room and it's like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark and they get, you know, it's just like all this, and they, they prove he is this guy and they prove that he killed What him. a story. And yeah, it's just crazy. So have you written it? I'm writing it now, yeah. Wow. It's just this crazy. 
in all your copious spare time? Well, you know, this, 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 is, this is how it happened. I'm at my son's uh, birthday party. We're playing paintball. They're, I'm not playing. He's playing with his friends. And it's like out in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, because it's paintball. And, you know, so I like have pizza and beer for the grown-ups because we just have to sit around for two hours. And, uh, and we're talking about the outpost. And I'm like, yeah, that was really... I was talking with one of the dads. So I was like, and it's really tough because like the army, the Pentagon keeps no records for anything. So I had to like recreate everything. He's like, tell me about it. And like, you know, he's one of the prosecutors. Wow. He, he, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so it's gonna, it's gonna be- uh, Thank goodness for paintball. Yeah, no, seriously, <laughs> thank, yeah, thank goodness for paintball being in the middle of nowhere. So anyway, yeah, no, and it's just this, it's just this incredible story and he's, um, yeah, he's, I mean, long story short, he's at a Supermax in Colorado. Wow. Yeah. Um, that was a great kicker. 